Now let's see how we can import our geometry into Houdini. So the geometry that you maybe model in Blender or Maya and you exported out the OBJ or FBX file from other 3D program and you want to import the OBJ or FBX file format into Houdini. So let's see how we can import our OBJ or FBX file format into Houdini. So let's come over here into the network editor press the right mouse button to bring up your node menu or you can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up your network menu and create an a geometry node so just type the geometry so here we have the geometry node select that so here we have the empty geometry container so double click on the geometry node to dive inside so now you see we are in the geometry context so you can tell that by if from this path so here as you can see we are in the obj and in the geometry level so you can go back onto the obj level by pressing this back button so right now we are in the object level okay you can press the middle press and hold the middle mouse button to navigate press and hold the right mouse button to zoom in and out in the network editor okay so if you right click or press the tab key on your keyboard so these are the nodes so these nodes are the specific for the object level so if you dive inside the geometry now we are in the geometry context and now if you right click on on there or press the tab key now we have the node menu that is lot bigger so these are the nodes that are relevant for this geometry context okay so here onto the geometry context hit tab key again and type the file node so this is the node that we're looking for file node and press the p key on your keyboard to bring up its parameter and where it says geometry file let's select the geometry that you want to import so i have stored my geometry onto the c drive and that's the tire model so select the tire dot obj hit accept so now as you can see my tire is imported okay so here it is displaying me the uvs as well as the back faces so if you don't want to see these uvs just come over here so these are the display options so from the display option just click on this checker icon to disable the uvs okay and if you want to hide the wireframe just come over here onto this box select and choose the smooth shaded to hide our wireframe and right here we have the trend back facing option so if you click on that now the back faces trending has been off and if you want to enable that just click on this button again to enable the back face trending and similarly you can enable the uv's uv checker by clicking on this uv checker button to enable the uv's okay so let me disable the uv's so right now my model is big so if i want to place my object into the center of the scene so let's create an another node for that so press tab key in the network editor and type the match size select that node and connect this node to the match size and set the display flag to the match size okay now we are viewing the effect of the match size node so the match size node place our geometry into the center so let me make my parameter window bigger so here it says translate so the translate is checked on so if i disable now the translation has been disabled so let's check the translate okay so if i want to uh, make my tire to sit on the floor so here is where it says justify y let's change this to minimum so now my 
object will sit perfectly onto the floor and you can also make your geometry onto the unit size which means its size will be one by one so just click on to the scale to fit now my tire is exactly in the size of one unit okay so where it says target size you can set your size just press and hold the middle mouse button to bring up my incremental window so here i can adjust the size unit size for that okay so let me change this to one so that's how you can import your geometry